Keep us in the pledge today. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Scotty, would you uh, pray for us, please? Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you so much for this day, and we thank you for the many blessings you give us, Lord. And as we go into our meeting, we just pray for guidance and wisdom that we are doing what's best for the residents of Sider County. We give you all the praise and the glory in your holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, gentlemen. Welcome, everyone, to the May 27th uh, Board of Sider County Commissioners meeting. Glad for those who've been able to join us today. Phil Smith with the Treasurer's Office is joining us today as well. And we're so glad to see you after a long, uh, long, well, just a, a year, yeah. basically, uh, because of COVID. It was very nice to uh, have you with us today. And, and uh, a little bit later, we'll, uh, if you have a second you'd like to address everybody, that would be great. And we'll do that. But right now, we need to approve the minutes of May the 20th. And uh, we do have our uh, commissioner, Commissioner Coleman, is joining us by Zoom this morning. Uh, would anyone have uh, a motion to approve the minutes on May the 20th? I'll make a motion to approve the minutes. I'll okay. it. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. And the matter requests for appropriation of funds. Regarding item two, are there any questions or comments in regards to it? Hearing none. I'll make the motion to approve. I'll second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of resolution establishing a fund for the 2021 sign upgrade fund for the Scioto County Engineering Department? Uh, this particular resolution um, was requested by the Scioto County Engineer. Uh, he'll be receiving $49,500. Um, or the project itself is, is, is the estimate of the project is $49,500. Uh, he will be reimbursed 80% of the cost of the project. But in order to do this, and this is for sign upgrades throughout the county, in order to do this, he has to have a separate line item established. That's what the request is for, and that's what we're entertaining today. Are there any questions or comments in regards to item three? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to adopt. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of 2021 TANF Summer Youth Employment Program subgrant agreement between the Scioto County Department of Job and Family Services and the Community Action Organization. This uh, particular contract is uh, going to be between the Scioto County Job and Family Services and CAO, Scioto County CAO, um, to $83,108. Since we discussed this last week, uh, the importance of this program uh, in order to employ summer youth uh, to get them a leg up to uh, get a good work ethic, build a resume, and get a good job. So, uh, any questions or comments in regards to four? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to approve. Aye, we'll second. Ms. Coleman. Aye. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. And the matter of service order agreement between Charter Communication Operating, actually that is the Ohio State, oh, we changed this one, um, the State of Ohio Services quote in agreement through Spectrum Enterprise and the Scioto County Commissioners. On this particular item, um, State of Ohio Services quotation and master services agreement is for fiber internet access with Spectrum Enterprise with five static IP and fiber internet access. 100 millibytes per second, $35, $578 for a total of 613 per month for a term of 60 months and one time fee of 250 for FIA installation. This, this particular contract is to build uh, the backbone of a more robust um, fiber network. Um, it, it builds a redundancy which is necessary if we lose one, we can still have the other, uh, which would be very beneficial for the courthouse, as well as the annex and the history building. Uh, Robert said, um, we felt that it was necessary given the fact that uh, we are seeing some inconsistencies with Frontier. Um, 
this will this will help us get that back up to have a strong uh, reliance. Uh, so if something does go down, we still have the opportunity uh, to stay up. So with that, are there any questions or comments in regards to five? Very no. I'll make a motion to approve. Mr. Powell. Aye. Ms. Coleman. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. And the matter of resolution is supporting Ohio Valley Regional <clears throat> Development Commission and authorizing appropriation. Um, on item six, we, we are one of the, the member counties of the Ohio Valley Regional Development Commission, OVRDC as we call it. Uh, we do a lot of collaborative work with OVRDC. I know our economic development department is very involved with OVRDC. Uh, we do sit on the board of that particular organization, and it's all economic development driven, community development driven. Um, we are a member. This particular appropriation would be for $14,310, which is the membership fees uh, for this year. Um, and this, we would actually not pay this, these appropriated funds to be paid on or after January the 1st, 2022, well, a year in advance. So we did receive an invoice. Um, they do great work up there. They're continuing to do great work. A lot of ARC funds, items like that. Questions, we get a lot of answers from them. Uh, a lot of support from them on the projects. And um, I myself am a, a, a fan of the OVRC. Are there any questions or comments from the other two commissioners? Hearing none? I'll make the, uh, the motion to adopt. I will second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. And a matter of communication from the Scioto County Agricultural Society regarding the request for 2021 funding. This particular request um, is a, a mandated ORC request. We, we have to get official work communication from the Agricultural Society. Um, this, is, this is the fair work, just in case anybody was wondering. Um, we did receive a request from their assistant treasurer, Randy Real, uh, requesting 2021 funding as mandated by the ORC in the amount of $2,400. Questions or comments from the board? Here you go. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. And the matter request to attend meeting? Uh, any questions on or comments on item 8? Hearing none. Motion to approve. I'll second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. And a matter request for fund transfers? Any questions or comments in regards to item 1? Hearing none. Make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. And a matter of contract amendment between the Scioto County Job and Family Services and the mm -hmm. Counseling Center? Any questions or comments in regards to item 10? <clears throat> Hearing none. Motion to accept. I will second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In a matter of accepting an amended certificate from the Budget Commission. Questions or comments in regards to the amended certificate? Hearing none. Make a motion to accept. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In a matter of request for appropriation transfer of funds. Questions or comments in regards to item 12? Hearing none. I'll second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? <clears throat> Aye. In the matter of extension for the state fiscal year 2021 local workforce area memorandum of understanding regarding the WIOA area one. Item 13 is an extension for the state fiscal year uh, 2021 for local workforce area. This is the MOU regarding WIOA. Area one, which it, it's, it's a high means jobs, who's actually does that for us, for a one year extension period, making the new expiration date June 30th, 2022. Any questions or comments? Hearing none. 
I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In a matter of approving payment of the regular schedule of accounts for the various funds, moral obligations, and the then and now certificates in the total amount of $839,902.84. Any questions or comments in regards to item 14? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Powell? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. In the matter of resolution authorizing the county's pledge of non-tax revenues to support the issuance of special obligation revenue bonds of the Southern Ohio Port Authority to finance commercial facilities and public infrastructure improvements within the county and authorizing the execution of cooperative agreement, a lease agreement, a bond placement agreement, and all other documents and instruments necessary to affect the issuance of bonds. In regards to item 15, we do have our uh, economic development director with us at this time. Uh, Ryan, would you give him a mic? And, and, uh, it's, I, I didn't necessarily, oh, okay, he's got one. Uh, didn't necessarily, uh, well, we didn't talk about this prior. But Robert, can you uh, opine on the importance of this particular uh, bond? Uh, yes, um, this funding, of course, will go to the project spec the, the, the spec building that we're building out at the SOAR Industrial <laughs> Business Park. And it will also finish the completion <clears throat> of the Barclow Road extension through the park. It will um, do signage for the park, other infrastructures that we're doing, uh, some of JP's uh, sewer lines that are being relocated. Uh, a lot of that work's already started, but um, that is what these bonds are for, uh, for the greater improvement of that park. Um, we have another project that's uh, getting ready to also start out there, and it will also enhance the development of that particular project too. Future jobs, growth for our county is what we're trying to build with the park. Um, the way we have the park laid out to date and it of course can change uh, depending on the companies and the, the, the businesses that we attract and what they need but uh, the way we've got it drawn to date uh, it can uh, 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 the building sizes and the square footage that we've got shown on our future uh, development map would actually create in just those facilities 1,200 plus jobs. Uh, it's, so it's important. It's huge, <laughs> it's huge. Not to mention, we finally got a gas company that is wanting to come out and bring us gas, 74 CFMs, that's 74,000 cubic feet an hour and their lines will provide gas for every building I have on that future, yeah. future. Huge win. It, it, yes, yes, yes it is. Yeah, this, this really speaks to where, how far we've come uh, with the business park. Um, you know, it started with a vision, it started with a, uh, a dream really mm -hmm. to try to make it happen and uh, we now, have closed the loop on all utilities, um, which helps us get to the place where we can become a certified park in Southern Ohio. Um, there, there, there's some good things happening, really good things happening. And uh, this investment is a multi-million dollar investment by the, the pipeline company. Uh, we'll be making an investment on, of our own, the side of county will be, but it really highlights the fact that this business park is being looked at by several entities, has been. Uh, we have a commitment for a project now, uh, working on a second a commitment. Of course, we building the, building the building itself is a project, okay? But we're looking for tenants and we have interested parties already and we haven't even put concrete on the ground yet. So it's pretty exciting uh, to see what's happening. And uh, this is our commitment. Uh, we believe we have to invest and we are investing in a big way. And the good thing about this is we own this. 
we own this, it'll be ours, and we'll be able to chart our path forward. And um, it's, it's a big win for Sutter County, it really is. So uh, with that, um, item 15, are there any questions or comments from the, the board in regards to this item? I mean, the only thing I would add is, you know, my appreciation to, to Robert, Mark, and uh, Marcy uh, in economic development. The work they've done on this has been a long time coming, yes. right, Robert? Yeah, sure. And uh, to have yeah. someone of, of Robert's caliber in this role, I mean, he's, he's done what, thousands of acres, is that fair to say? No, Hundred, no. Hundreds and thousands of acres? Well, of, thousands, thousands, <laughs> thousands of acres of, of I development. Lost I lost count of the projects and buildings that I've been involved with about 20 years ago. So uh, <laughs> to, to have that type of experience and knowledge um, and to be able to speak that lingo to to the folks that we're now attracting out at SOAR, um, it's going to pay dividends. It's going to be a very busy, I think, year. And uh, it's exciting. And and let's remember that this this was a leap of faith from from this board yeah. saying we'll invest. We don't we don't have a renter yet, but we'll invest. We'll invest in the community because you know pe people don't want to invest. They, they don't want to move to a field. They want to move to a building. They want to move where infrastructure is. So yeah. um, that's all rounding out now, um, and that's great to see. So um, once again, thank thank you for your continued work on the project. It's um, thank you, Commissioner it's, Powell. Yeah. One more thing. Um, as as Scotty, as you're as you're talking about, you know, I've I've been here what now four and a half years, and of course we've worked diligently on getting this part in place to the point it is today. But self investment, it's huge, and it has created the state's interest, the Fed's interest. I mean, the RIPL loan that we're going after all of a sudden. You know we're there we're investing it's just amazing at what happens when you invest in yourself it brings it on and uh, I mean every day just like the gas people they came out of left field for three years I was denied gas to that facility don't don't have a project don't have enough gas usage. No, we're not going to do engineering for you. We're not going to tell you what it's going to cost. And I get that. I understand that. But now, in the last year, we have really invested and we've put effort, big time effort in it. And all of a sudden, it's real. And that's what it takes. And they start falling into place. That's what's happening in our office. It's amazing how busy we are over there. If you, if you don't believe in yourself enough to invest, how should you ever? You can't get them. They're, they're not going to get anyone to invest. You won't. And you it won't. was very much a leap of faith. Not an uneducated one. No. No. Not uncalculated. We looked at what could happen. There was studies done yep. to tell us what could happen. Yep. And here we are. So, uh, yeah, it, it, yep. it's amazing. The, how the narrative has changed in a very short period of time, and um, people need to understand this is how economic development is done. It's not as simple as just say, "Hey, we got a field." No. There you go. No. Um, I'll never forget, and I think Robert, you were there when we had a meeting. I think there was a economic development person from was it Butler County or Belmont County? I can't remember which one. Yeah. But he made a comment. He said, Ohio has a lot of beautiful sites, S-I-G-H-T-S, but what we need are sites, S-I-T-E-S. With infrastructure. With infrastructure, right. And that really was an eye-opener as far as that paradigm shift. You know, mm -hmm. it, we hear a lot around here, we have river, we have rail, we have roads but we don't have them developed. That's the problem. We have to develop it. The, the, the build out of the Southern Ohio Veterans Memorial Highway opened up the northeast quadrant of our county in a big way. Yes. Right by the airport, right by county owned land, right by all that potential infrastructure. It was huge. Yes. That was part of that build out. Uh, we talk about our river. Well, our docks are in really bad shape. A lot of them are private owned. There hasn't been investment in our docks. Really, the only one that's seen major investment is the SOPA dock 
that was because of Inframetals. Mm -hmm. And Inframetals has built that dock out to be one of the nicest docks on the Ohio River locally. So that was private investment. It's called that. Yeah. So we need more of that. We need more private investment. We need to look at that infrastructure to see if there's anything we can do publicly with a public-private partnership. Yeah. Um, but our roads, the roads are major. Uh, you really need to be able to get product from dock door to wherever you're going. And that, that highway has created a north-south corridor we didn't have before. No one wanted to drive through Portsmouth. I mean, it was bottleneck. That's all there is to it. Where now you have Direct Shop, 64, Industrial Parkway, 823, 23 North. I mean, it's Direct Shop. So no more, and it's all 70. 70 miles an hour. You, you, you don't have that bottleneck anymore. So, all of that area is open for development. We saw that when they announced the project. It's taken us long to get there, but we're there. And we're open for business. And we need to, and we're pushing that in a big way. And we're seeing the results. Uh, you're busy because you've created the business. <laughs> well, we all have. It's, it's yes. been a team effort. Mm. So we're moving forward. Any other questions or comments? Well, we probably should point out JP's critical uh, oh part goodness. of all yeah. this, making yeah. sure we have water and sewers. And thank you for yeah. his team, too. Yeah, I, absolutely. <laughs> I still remember. I think it was two years we ran that sewer line down to the terminal, down past there. And uh, and then we were doing the terminal, you know, remodel. And I think there were some questions about that on whether or not that was a, you know, wise expenditure. It's all part of the plan. You got to build it out. We're, we're, it, 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 yeah, it, it's huge, and you have to build the infrastructure out. You have to build the welcome wagon in order to get people to come, and yeah. that's all there is. You have to have a product to sell. Exactly. And Everybody uh, has fields. <laughs> Everybody does, especially in Southern Ohio. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a lot of them, so we, we have to be better prepared for those companies when they come. And between what's happening and in Memphis, at the Soar Park, at Haverhill, and what's happening in close, close collaboration with Lawrence County, yep. uh, LEDC, and those fine folks down there, Jediso, Jobs Ohio, High Southeast, you name it. There is a ton of stuff going on. And uh, we just made that corridor about 60 miles longer. <laughs> yeah. 30 miles longer. We did by, by taking the uh, Soar, yeah. and the Soar, by building the Soar Park. I mean, that's 60 miles of development potential. That's, that's huge. Yeah, that's just huge. Yeah, so we're, we're excited about the potentials. And uh, we're, we're getting the inquiries. We're, we're getting it. So we'll uh, just keep on plugging away. Any other questions or comments from the board? to adopt. I'll take it. Mr. Powell. Hi. Ms. Coleman. Hi. Mr. Davis. Hi. In the matter of estimate of funds needed for preparation and supervision services rendered by Dinsmore & Shoal LLP regarding the sewer bonds. This particular estimate of funds needed for professional services, attorney, attorney fees by Dinsmore & Shoal for preparation and supervision of proceedings with respect to County of Side Ohio, three million in site sanitary sewer system revenue bond series 2021 dated May 27, 2021, to be paid by the county and to be reimbursed by USDA in the amount of twenty three thousand uh, dollars. So uh, those those dollars will be reimbursed, but that's what this is for. Any questions or comments in regards to item sixteen? Hearing none. I'll second. Ms. Coleman. Aye. 
Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. In the matter of resolution transferring real property from the Board of County, Sayota County Commissioners to Sayota County Land Reutilization Corporation regarding 817 Harrisonville Avenue, New Boston, Ohio. Questions or comments on the third side of 17? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to adopt. I'll second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Ms. Coleman. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. In the matter of resolution for the transfer of funds from the Medicaid sales tax transition funds to the general fund? Uh, this resolution is for us to uh, resolve to transfer $277,255 to the general fund of Sayota County, Ohio. That $277,255 once transferred to the general fund of Sayota County shall be appropriated to the commissioner's miscellaneous transfer fund to cover the cost of replacement of the sky roof system in the courthouse. Questions or comments in regards to? Hearing none. I'll make a motion to adopt. I'll second. Ms. Coleman. Aye. Mr. Powell. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. Um, I would like to add an item 19. I know we're up against it because we have a bid opening and then we'll have the press uh, ask questions after that. But uh, we did uh, want to exercise the acceptance of the resignation of, of uh, Russ Porter on SOPA. <clears throat> he had sent a resignation uh, letter in that he was wanting to resign from SOPA. So with that, uh, is there any questions or comments in regards to uh, this from uh, the two commissioners? I would just uh, say, you know, we appreciate Russ's service on the SOPA board over the past well, five, six months. Um, and uh, his resignation came in late, so making it a late item to our agenda. But other than that, I have nothing. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, again, I'd just like to uh, thank Mr. Porter for his service to the Port Authority. Yes, same here. Uh, thank you uh, very much for spending time on the board. Any Anything else? Uh, if not, we just, uh, I'll make motion. a motion to accept the resignation. I get a second. Kathy? Second. I will second. Okay, you should hear me. Mr. Powell. Aye. Ms. Coleman. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. All right, we need to move. It's 10 o'clock. We need to move to the bid opening on two things. And we have to do this in a timely manner. Uh, bid opening for website development and also ETC pump track. So, um, Can you just check with Amanda, make sure we don't have any more before we start? So we will start with the uh, bid opening for the economic development web website development. And we have one bid. And this is from Appalachian Marketing and Media. Web development, uh, hourly rate at $100, quantity of hours 30 uh, for $3,000, integration and data module development for $1,500 for a total of $4,500. It's also client managed website, $445. And for the domain, Wix hosting management service, total of $1,245. And that looks like everything. Okay. Can we get a motion to refer this to our economic development director for review? I'll make the motion to uh, send it over to Robert for review. No second. Mr. Powell? Aye. Ms. Coleman? Aye. Mr. Davis? Aye. Okay, so our second bid opening is for the Earl Thomas Conley Riverside Park pump tracks. We do have, and we have two bids on that. So the first one is from Ally Construction LLC out of Chillicothe, Ohio. The total bid price for the two tracks is 
They do have a bid bond. And the second bid is from American Ramp Company out of Joplin, Missouri. Have a bid bond as well. Their total price is one hundred and sixty-nine thousand seven hundred dollars. Okay. Can we get a motion to accept the two bids, and we'll be reviewing those to determine next steps? I'll make the motion to accept the two bids for the pump truck. I'll second. Mr. Powell. Hi. Miss Coleman. Mr. Davis. <coughs> Hi. All right. That thank concludes you. the bids. Okay. Thank you. Uh, all right. Questions or comments? Oh, actually, first of all, we want to recognize Kelly Smith uh, with the uh, State of Ohio Treasurer's Office and uh, Treasurer's Parade. Yes, I got that right. Okay. <laughs> and uh, would you like to address the group today? I just want to say I appreciate you guys letting me come and sit in, and it's so good to be back on the road. So we've got that clearance as of yesterday. Um, we have been at home teleworking for a little bit over a year, um, but it's allowed us to make a lot of new connections with local governments. Um, we have our programs have grown, um, especially our stable accounts, the savings uh, for disability. Um, and we, have, we offer lots of lead deposit loans that can help businesses, farmers, um, things like that that can save Consider a lot of money depending on how much you borrow. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for letting me be here. Thank, Thank you for you. being here. Thank you. I'm just really, I'm really flattered that she was released yesterday to visit. She came, she came here first. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm flattered. So thank you so much for being here. It's good to see you, and it has been a while, and uh, we we figure everybody will be catching up now. So it isn't that we haven't had access, it's just we haven't had access to in person. So we definitely had the other and we appreciate everything that you do and your boss's service to our, our great state. Thank you. Thank you. Um, anything else? Uh, Patrick? Brian? Yes, Patrick. I would just like to add uh, as we close. Uh, Very well noted and very well deserved for all of our graduates, absolutely. And before we go to Patrick, I want to mention um, tomorrow down at Spartan Stadium from 2 to 5 in collaboration with COSI, State of Ohio, and the Community Action of Soda County. Uh, they'll be passing out uh, meal boxes and COSI uh, stem boxes. Mm -hmm. um, this is the third row show stop. Um, that they'll be doing this throughout Ohio. So if you know of anybody, swing down there, it looks like they'll have roughly 2,000 learning kits and mills for families. Um, it's a drive-through event where they'll be passing it out. So um, once again, it's uh, as we're going into summer, if you need something for your kids to do, get them a science box and uh, make them learn something. That'd be great. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. My, my uh, one of my, boys came home with a STEM box from Coastal yesterday. Nice. They handed out at Medford Schools. So nice. they're really doing what they can to reach out to the communities. That's really wonderful. If you've never had an opportunity to visit Coastal, which of course now it's opening back up hopefully soon or if it hasn't already, it is a wonderful experience. It really is. Take your kids, spend the day. Um, you, they will learn something for sure. And you will too. As an adult. Very good. You should always be ever learning. Patrick. Yeah, I just had one question on the agenda. Uh, I was just wondering with item 15, if they're like, with the, with just the issuance, I don't know if there are like any like numbers like attached with that. Yes, yes, actually, I'm sorry. 
we go, I guess we should have done that. Um, yes, the maximum principal amount of the bond is $6,200. Nope. Or, sorry, six million. Six million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit different. Just a couple more zeros. Just a couple. That's just three. Good. Okay. It's uh, six million two hundred thousand. That is for the building. That is for roads. It's for lights. It's for sewer. It's for infrastructure. It's for everything. Um, and and that's the that's the maximum principal amount. Um, we'll know more as we go as we build. Uh, we're hoping to be able to build for less than than what's been projected. We'll see. That number is changing every day, unfortunately, because of the economy right now, uh, with inflation and everything else. Uh, it's one reason we locked in the building. If you recall, a couple weeks ago, we locked in the building purchase and, and things like that, because we had to move fast uh, to get that locked in, which we were able to do so. Uh, you know how many more weeks it will be, Robert? I know uh, for the steel to hit the ground out there. And probably before middle to end of August. Okay, for the steel itself. Um, that doesn't prevent us from doing site work and things like that. They're prepping, they're prepping all of that right now. So if we get our, our site work done, our pad poured, uh, things like that, infrastructure, which is all being worked on right now, you know, we need to be ready when that still hits the ground and start erection as soon as possible. So we're, we're hope, hopefully uh, going to be able to move on that. So does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, what else do you have? Uh, I guess uh, maybe off of that, uh, is it known like projected finish time for the? Go right ahead, Robert. When are you gonna finish this thing, Robert? How quick? Come on. Uh, when's like the projected uh, finish date for construction? I hope to have the building under roof, dried in, and a certificate of occupancy early spring. That's our goal. And we hope to be able to talk to you in the near future about a second project. So we are working on one of those right now. So very exciting. Exciting things going on at SOAR. It really is. So, yeah, definitely. Okay, anything else? Okay, all right, nothing? Wow, okay. All right, well, I think everybody's already started their vacation or- <laughs> Yes, <laughs> time for vacations. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Long weekend. Yes. Okay, great. great. Long weekend. Uh, maybe people already have started their long weekends. But uh, yeah, we can do a start that. So, um, okay, with that, can we get a motion to adjourn? I'll make the motion to adjourn. And I'll second. Mr. Powell. Aye. Ms. Coleman. Aye. Mr. Davis. Aye. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Have a wonderful, wonderful Memorial Day weekend. And may we not forget why we honor those who have fallen in battle, uh, served our country gallantly. Let us not forget their sacrifice. Uh, because of them, I saw I saw something on Facebook the other day. You know, there's a lot of people heading to the beach, a lot of people heading to pool parties and everything else. But it said because because of their day on the beach, we can have ours. And it had a picture of D-Day. And uh, let us never forget the sacrifices so many men and women have uh, done for our country over the years to make us the great nation that we are. And we are a great nation. Let us not forget that. Thank you, everybody. Happy Memorial.